Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids, and in today's video, I want to give you an updated guide on one of my favorite epic champions in the game. You can see him here in the background doing his thing. It is none other than Skiramis. Absolutely fantastic epic. I'm going to be showing you how to build him for a Hydra team, something like this one that we're going to use in the background to get a nice, clean, easy one key of the Hydra on hard difficulty in this particular run. Skaramis, though, he's a champion you could certainly use on normal, of course. Brutal. Uh, he'd even be viable on Nightmare, but you'd need to have obviously a good team, very, very strong team to be able to take down Nightmare even. So, uh, but yeah, you can sort of see the team idea in the background. We'll come back to that. Let's take a look at, well, the main man first of all. Skaramis, here he is. He is a magic affinity high elf HP based epic champion. Uh, what makes him so good and for Hydra in particular? He actually does have a HP in all battles aura, which is very nice. Basically anywhere in the game you could use this for Doom Tower, Faction Wars, Hydra if you wanted, lots of places. This move hold the front is A3 is what makes him so strong. Three turn cooldown, AoE provoke. That's really nice for being full auto friendly for Hydra because he can come in and provoke the head of decay. Um, that is whoop over here. This guy over here that does the cleanses and stuff. You can see one snuck through. You're going to have some of them sneak through because there is a three turn cooldown. But uh, yeah, he can actually block him up, provoke him and make him miss his turn. Like right there, he's just missed his turn because of a provoke and wasn't, uh, wasn't able to land a cleanse. It also gives him counter attack and continuous heal for two turns. Now, why is that so strong if we jump back? Well, this fellow right here, the head of mischief, he likes to target whoever has the most buffs and just try and steal their buffs. And as you can see right there, perfect example, because Skiramis is giving himself two very unusual buffs in counterattack. And well, continuous heal is not unusual, uh, but it also stacks with itself. So it's an extra buff. He is going to be two buffs ahead of everybody else. That's going to make the head of mischief target him. We build him with high resistance. And I'll tell you exactly how much you need for each difficulty. Uh, we build them with high resistance and nearly every single time Head of Mischief is going to be targeting Skiramis. Means he's not going to be able to steal your buffs. Also not going to be able to steal the turn meter and start getting lots of turns and really counting down that Hydra Devour timer very quickly. You can play around all of that. Just all of this very simply thanks to Skiramis's A3. His A2 is an AoE that decreases enemy buffs by one turn. Great for things like the reflect damage and ally protection that go out. He can also put decrease attack, which is really good. Gives himself even some turn meter when he decreases buffs. His A1 can steal turn meter, can place a stun. This is nice for Doom Tower. Um, waves, really. Not going to be very relevant for Hydra. In fact, not relevant at all for Hydra, but he's just there, right? It's just there. It doesn't matter. This move is so strong. But yeah, you can obviously apply this to Doom Tower waves as well. I will say for his blessing, you can actually kind of choose. I would be leaning towards Commanding Presence or Chain Breaker if you're kind of four star or above. Like four star Commanding Presence gives you a big chunk of resistance. Four star Chain Breaker gives you a big chunk of accuracy, whichever you need most. At low ranks, honestly, Cruelty is still pretty good, right? Just decreasing the boss's uh, defense is nice. Attack and crit damage, not really useful for this champion. So those are kind of a waste. But if you don't have anyone else with Cruelty, I mean, hey, look, 5% decreased defense for the boss. That's kind of kind of decent. So that's up to you. You can make that decision. How do we build this champion? Well, we want three main stats. Resistance, accuracy, and then a bit of speed. And then we're going to just put defensive stats after that. In terms of sets, you can see I'm building sets that go directly into this. Two resistance sets, trying to crank his resist as high as we can, and a perception set for accuracy and some speed. For the total stats I put him in, we've got him in pretty decent gear here. 236 speed, 528 resistance. We actually have more than we need, and 248 accuracy. Um, let me show you this. This is, roughly speaking, what you would need for the different difficulties. So for normal, you'd want about 355 resistance, 215 accuracy. For hard, 415 resistance, 265 accuracy. For brutal, 450 resistance, 330 accuracy for Nightmare, 455 resist, and 410 accuracy. Uh, it's a lot of resistance, even on normal. It is a lot. You can see it doesn't scale up that much. You know, you need almost 200 more accuracy going from normal to, uh, to, to Nightmare, but only about 100 more resistance. The resistance requirements are quite high. Why is it worthwhile? Because it makes your run so much more consistent when you have a mischief tank like this. And Skramis is one of the best. And he's just an epic. Um, so you're going to want to do things like a resistance chest. You're going to want 
a resistance banner. I haven't glyphed a lot of his gear because I didn't, you know, he's already crazy enough on the stats. Uh, you want probably an amulet with lots of accuracy and resistance and preferably HP. Those would be a few things. You're going to be wanting preferably speed boots would be ideal. And then just looking for pieces of gear with accuracy and resistance on them is what you want. HP percent gloves are perfect, but if you don't have that, you can put any sort of glove on if it's got lots of resistance. If you need to do that, you need to do that. One big tip I would definitely give with this champion, it's a really good idea to get a blood shield banner. Gives him a tiny shield after attacking. Why is this so good? Because he gives himself counterattack. So whenever he is hit, he will counterattack. Doesn't matter if this does almost no damage, right? Because you can see he's got a tiny shield. The shield gets popped. He's going to go in now with a counterattack. And that shield is an extra buff. Bam. He goes in with the counterattack. It's a tiny shield. It's basically useless, except it does count as an extra buff, which is going to help Head of Mischief target him even more, which is just brilliant. That's exactly what we want to make it nice and consistent. So that's what we're going to do. Um... Yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Boom. Over for his masteries. You could, if you're struggling, you could totally send him down the defense tree, get 10 extra resistance here, and get the 50 extra resistance here. If you need to do that, that's okay. Uh, if you can afford to, the offense tree is pretty nice, right? Life Drinker will help him stay alive. And War Master is going to do most of his damage. Every single counterattack can proc the War Master. It's going to add up to a little bit of extra damage. But like I said, this is not crucial. Whereas getting the right amount of resistance on him absolutely is crucial. So make your choice there. Now, the support tree is really good to give him some extra accuracy, which is nice. Uh, we're going to give him some turn meter. You could give him even more accuracy if you're stuck. Give him swarm smiter for more. Or you can give him extra turn meter to try to get more turns. That's also good too. Uh, I've given him Lore of Steel and Cycle of Magic, and then I'm giving him Lasting Gifts. This is quite important. Just that small chance to extend his counterattack or his continuous heal is again going to make that Mischief Tanking more consistent. And then I gave him Sniper to make his decrease attack on his A2 more consistent, because this only goes up to a 75% chance. Right, we can increase that to an 80% chance with Sniper, which is quite worthwhile. Uh, so that's kind of what I like with his masteries. Like I said, you can go defense tree if you need to. That's totally okay. Let's see here. We should be coming up to the end of the run right here for this particular one. I thought this was a nice one. Uh, and we'll hit the pause when we come out through here. So we can see right there, there is Skaramis. He has done his job bringing us that control, stopping Decay doing the cleanses, stopping Mischief stealing our stuff and stealing our turn meter, kind of the two most annoying things to deal with in Hydra, really. And decrease attack helps the Head of Wrath not hit that hard, which is fantastic. His damage, nothing special. He's actually the, the worst in the team, but he's done a little bit. And most of that is War Master, okay? Uh, but you could drop that if you wanted to make him tank here. Um, but yeah, there you go. I thought this is a nice little team to show you. We've obviously got Noot, the recent fusion, and he did the top damage, uh, though his damage does scale up very well on harder difficulties. We've got a Royal Guard for damage as well. He's okay, but these max HP damage is not as strong on normal and hard. Gets much stronger on brutal and nightmare. Ugo bringing us decreased defense and block buffs. Shamail stopping the fear head from doing its thing. And then a Mother Cybel for speed aura, decreased speed, increased defense for the team as well and she's in a provoke set uh, no interesting uh, relentless on ugo provoke on mother cybel nothing on guardian on shamail nothing else too interesting in terms of those stats and i'll just show you the setup for the team as well we did it on just auto we take uh, targeted heads so i've got very good gear on these champions but you get an idea for this team and how you could make it work one thing you might do you might drop out shamail for example and you could put in, let's say, Rector Drath instead. That might be a great uh, adjustment to this team. Uh, and there's plenty of other adjustments. You can check out all the videos on the chat. Where is Rector Drath? Uh, where is she? I thought I saw her second, and then she disappeared again. She's red affinity. There she is. You could bring in Rector Drath instead. She's going to give you healing, perfect veil to deal with, the, deal with the fear head, and she brings you a revive as well. So that could be nice uh, to try keep you in it. I did run with an Inquisitor Shamel, though, for this particular one. Um, where is the one that I used? There he is. I used this one. Uh, so for the setup here, Mother Cybele, I just turned off 
that and those are her stats again a lot of these stats like the accuracy and stuff is too high for hard that's okay noose was in these stats so again he's very fast and more accuracy than he needs royal guard was like this skiramis ugo and inquisitor shamel uh, and we absolutely smash we're kind of out gearing here at this point uh, but you can adjust it and you can see the sort of setup like you can set this as priority one for him ugo one on that Skaramis, we will just force him into his moves. Royal Guard like so, Newt and like this, and bam. Thought that was pretty nice, you know, getting the fusion in there and one of the, the best 10x champions this weekend. So hopefully I gave you an idea for how to use Skaramis. Again, the most important thing is he must have enough resistance. He must, he must, he must, he must. And I do like to build him with pretty decent speed so you get back to those provokes. Uh, other mischief tanks you can run some of them you can run very very slow Scramus is kind of like a Krisk okay you want him to be fairly quick so that he actually will get around to his provokes and get to use them so that's why you've built him with 236 speed I mean probably 200 plus would be good depends if you've increased the speed or not in your team so yeah, with this team we don't have increased speed which is kind of a bummer no revive etc but it's an idea of a team not the best team but a solid team you could throw together with Skramis and Newt and have success. Hopefully you found it interesting. Uh, let me know what you think of Skramis. He's an amazing champion. And let me know where else you use him in the game. I'd imagine Doom Tower Waves, maybe the Magma Dragon for that provoke could be pretty nice too in the decreased attack. But yeah, I am curious. Also worth mentioning as well, the decreased attack does combo well with Newt, who brings decreased attack, but they're different affinities. So I thought that was it was nice to have both of them uh, to cover all the affinities really. Uh, in this Hydra run, which is uh, quite nice. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.